Okay, so let's take a look at week one's challenge number two. So, what we're told is sometimes a Python function needs to accept a variable number of arguments. So, for example, if we look at the built-in function max, which is looking for the maximum number, we could see that we could, for example, pass in max one, two, three, or max one, two, eight, and it would tell us which is the maximum number. So let's take a quick look at that in Spider. So if we have the function max and we piss in, pass in one, two, three, that gives us three. We could, for example, say max eight, seven, six, five, four, three, and it tells us it's eight. So max allows us to pass in a variable number of arguments to it, so different numbers of arguments, um, which is quite handy, really. Um, so what our challenge is, is to write a function that accepts a variable number of integer arguments and returns the number of arguments that have been passed in. Um, so what it's saying is, why don't you create a function and call it number of arguments, um, and that function accepts, like max, a variable number of arguments. Um, and we're going to store that in a result. So here it was saying, for example, if you called the number of arguments and passed in one, two, three, the result would be three because there's three arguments that have gone into it. And if you called number of arguments and passed in the numbers one to five, the result would be five because there are five arguments that have been passed into it. So I've set that up in um, Python, but obviously it won't work because um, the name number of arguments has not been defined. We haven't created a Python function with that name at this moment. So how do we go about figuring that out? Okay, so let's go to our search engine and have a go at figuring this out. So let's type Python uh, function uh, variable number of arguments. And that's thrown up a, a number of hits. Uh, so our old friend Stack Overthrow comes at the top. And um, we've got some stuff from other um, usual suspects. So learnpython.org is another one that comes up quite often. Um, so multiple function arguments. Sometimes people don't call them arguments. Sometimes people call them parameters. So again, uh, the search engine's clever enough to, to find the same hits. So variable number of parameters um, has found the same stack overflow one. So I think that's probably a good one to take a look at. So the question is, can a variable number of arguments be passed to a function um, in a similar way to something you would do in C and C++? So he's given an example. So he's got a function um, with the name fn and he could pass in the, or she could pass in the, the values A and B, um, or they could pack, they could pass in A, B, C, D, and, and so on. So how do you do that? And people seem to quite like this question. Uh, and yes, there is a simple answer to this. Um, so we can use this asterisk in front of um, a variable name. So in fact, this gives us the answer. So def many args, um, open brackets, star arg, close brackets, colon. Uh, this is in Python 2, so there's no brackets around print. So just be careful of that. And it says, I was called with length of the arg arguments. So that's that looks like that's the solution. So what we need to do is include this asterisk in front of our argument. So let's create a function. And we're going to call that number of arguments. And we're going to specify a parameter with a asterisk in front of it and call that arg colon. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to print the length of arg. OK. So actually, we don't want to print the length of arg. We're going to return the length of arg because we're printing it out underneath. Let's run that. So we can see it's returned the correct results. So for the first call where we pass in one, two, three, it returns three. And for the second call where we pass in one, two, three, four, five, it's returned five. Um, and we can see the values of result there in our variable explorer. So that's quite a nifty, that's quite a nifty thing. So let's let's create another function 
called what is inside. And again, we'll pass in a variable number of arguments. And what we'll do is we'll print arg inside that. Um, so let's call that function. Uh, what is inside? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to call the function what is inside and pass in the values one, two, three. And remember, we can do that because we've included the star in front of arg. So let's run that and see what comes out. So we can see actually what arg is. Um, so in this case, it's a tuple. So a tuple is a bit like a list. Um, so we can see the arg contains the values one, two, and three. And actually, we could do something a bit more interesting. What we could do is we could say print arg um, at index zero and run that again. And we can see what it does. It now prints out the value one. So what it's doing is it's looking at the tuple and seeing that the first value in the tuple is the value one, and it prints that out. If we then pass in uh, index number one instead and run that, it prints out value number two which is here. So that's what's happening is we're passing in. So the values in here is being converted into a tuple and that's being passed to the number of arguments and the what's inside function. And then we can we can then access the information within that side, that tuple and do different things to it. And that's exactly what the maximum function is doing. It basically is passed in a tuple of numbers and it iterates through those numbers and finds the maximum value and then returns that. And because it's a tuple, that can be of variable length.